I want to first say I am so sorry for all of you watching. This is going to be so cringeworthy, but it's a double upload day and you guys asked for it, so... What's up guys? It's Jake here. And I hope you're all having a great day so far. Yes, it's a double upload. I had my first episode of CSGO News this morning. I'll link that down below for all of you. But this episode is way better. As a huge announcement it did come from ESL. I'm sure many of you guys have heard about it by now. The iBot Power Players have been unbanned for ESL events only on top of that as well as ESEA. So some great opportunities for the guys that we know of. There's also other match fixtures out there. I'm not going to talk about them. I do want to talk about notoriously the iBot Power team. We have Dazed, Seal, Swag, and as well as AZK. They have now all been unbanned and can participate in ESL events, which is actually several events every year now including ESL Pro League and on top of that they usually have a major every year as well so whatever team these guys do find in the future they do have a chance to participate in some big events now of course ESL Pro League season 6 does start relatively soon they can't qualify for that but season 7 is totally open as well as any major events that ESL does hold and on top of that ESCA so the big question of course for our big four players we have Dazed we have Steel we have Swag and of course AZK all of those guys or at least all of them besides AZK did tweet out some kind of reaction for them but the big question does come, come soon, the first of which, will AZK come back from Overwatch? He actually kind of quit CSGO a long time ago, but the Overwatch scene is dying out. An even bigger question is though, are Dazed and Steel going to stay together or are they going to separate and go to separate organizations or teams that actually want to sign them? And the biggest question of them all is, will Cloud9 st Swag stay under the Cloud9 umbrella? We actually had a while ago, he came out on stream and said he has not re-signed with Cloud9, depending upon what ESL does stay for their statement. And now with him being unbanned, the question is, will he try and find a new team? who's not going to pay him near as much as Cloud9 or really stick around under that organization and maybe fill in for people like Shroud or maybe Skadoodle and, and, and Op in some situations or Rifle for Shroud if they don't want to play a single ESL event. That's the actual future question here. We had Swag's reaction though live with Mo TV. I'll show you guys that clip right now. Hello? Brats, what are you doing bro? What's up? Who's this? It's Mo. Say what? It's Mo. What's up? Yo, <laughs> listen. Have you checked that computer lately? You're on band, bro. Congratulations. I swear to God. And my very last statement about this, kind of curious because ESL did tweet out this as well. It does seem now there's a large disparity between cheaters and match fixers as now match fixers get a heavy punishment of five years from now on. If you're caught match fixing on any level of esports, as quoted by him, it's now a five year ban as opposed to if you actually are cheating and get a VAC ban, it's only two years. So kind of a, a weird disparity there. We have cheaters and match fixers and match fixers are punished way heavier now. I would have liked to see ESL give them even punishments, either make it both two years or both five year bans but that was their statement on that. Even more importantly though, for all you North fans out there, we have Madness being benched on that roster, not for performance issues. So for all of you who are wondering, wait, if it's performance, then it should be AZ. No, it was actually Madness Boy for personal reasons. He is now on that bench going forward. We'll find out details about that later, but it does seem very likely according to Nell. We do have two replacements for him coming sometime soon. They will choose one of those guys, one of them being Mertz. He's actually currently on the North Academy team, as well as I think the more likely option, a former Heroic member, Valde, who's been on the market for about a month now or even less than a month ever being since ever being released from his contract from Heroic. So I think it will be Valde, but it could also be a North Academy member as well. But Magis Boy will be replaced on that roster and it will not be AZ, so we'll see who they choose in the future. And more importantly, thank you so much guys for the great support of my CSGO swap link down below. I'm now back with these guys. I actually had a different sponsorship the last two videos, but I'm now back with my long-term sponsor, CSGO Swap. So seriously, thank you all who actually used that link down below. It makes me a tiny bit of money, but it really does mean a lot to me. And even if you guys just click on that CSGO swap link, my owner can see that. You don't have to buy anything or trade your skins up, guys, but I would appreciate that. So seriously, thank you guys for all that great support. Even though bouncing off that, I'm actually doing a large sticker capsule giveaway. All of you guys wondering when this sticker capsule giveaway for 50 capsules will end. It will actually end in around five days when those capsules are tradable. So for all of you guys who are like, Jake, where are my freaking stickers at? Calm, the, calm down, okay? I'm wearing a red flannel for you. I will do that sticker giveaway in about five days time when those capsules are tradable and there will be 50 individual winners. So best of luck to that guys. And I'll be doing a bigger sticker giveaway after that one ends. It seems our uh, CSGO pro players are back to the betting scene. If you guys remember a long time ago, now this was actually last year, actually last summer when CSGO betting and gambling was at its peak, we had a lot of pro players actually sponsored by gambling sites. I remember C's being one of those guys who entered a lot of big pots. He is now back to the gambling and betting though guys, actually betting on other CSGO teams. Kind of cool here, a friendly 
wager, so it is legal, guys, for all of you concerned about that. Hey, Cease, hey, you shouldn't be allowed to actually bet on other teams, man. That could create some conflicts. Don't worry. It seems he either put a bet on Gambit or maybe he actually bet on a CIS team winning the major because Cold Zero, Fur, and Stewie 2K all owe the man some money, and we had Fur with some funny replies about that. So kind of cool to see our CSGO pro players making friendly wagers on each other and kind of cool to see how much money they really make. The, the fact that they can put down $1,000 like it's nothing. Now, off, on top of that, guys, we do have our community question for this episode. And again, thank you guys who all submit community questions. I have so many community questions. It's kind of like a Q&A every episode, and I love this segment. Now, this one actually came in, and it said, any updates on the Gambit Coach Abuse Scandal? Now, if you guys remember a long time ago and several times I've talked about this, there was a Gambit Coach. He is now an analyst on that main roster, and he, he mainly analyzes and coaches for the academy team now. He goes by the name of Saga. I will show his picture on screen just once for all of you. And he was actually allegedly physically abusing the team editor known as Fury. I actually talked to Igor myself and it was true. This guy, I'll show him again actually. He literally punched this other dude in the face, like physically abused him. He's the team editor for the uh, for the, both teams, the academy and the main roster. And he also verbally abused the academy team, the former academy team, which four of those five members on the former academy team all left the roster because they hated this guy so much. And Gambit promised me a, pro a reply a long time ago, over a month ago. Obviously, they've been pretty busy with their main roster winning majors and such. They promised me a public reply, and they have yet to give me one. So updates on the situation, guys. It's still a terrible situation, and thank you guys for sharing this video and all those other videos about it. But I have no response. And I know the sad part is we don't have enough power in this community, which kind of sucks because if Richard Lewis reported this, he would definitely get a, a, some kind of response. I got a response from Gambit, but they said they would reply to me sometime soon, and they never did. So that's an update on that situation. Still a terrible situation to hear about the Gambit coach abusing their players and nothing being done about it. All right, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. Thank you again for all, the, all, all of you out there, you special people who actually click on my link and support me through that. Seriously, that is uh, un unbelievable. Thank you guys for all the great support, and I hope you all enjoyed today's double upload. I want to keep today's episode really short, though, because I want to have more content for tomorrow for all of you or in a couple of days. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's second video. As always, please leave a comment down below so I can reply to your comments. And as always, live, love, laugh, lot. Remember, my name is Jay remember I like you and apparently you guys want the yelling outros to come back so it's this can be very important please leave a comment down below whether you guys want this to come back or not usually what I do with a yelling outro is I get really hyped up and I, I yell way too loud so if you guys want that turn down your headsets ah!